Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk you through how I made this lovely set of coasters. I start with these plywood coaster bases and I take some white acrylic paint and apply three coats of it onto each side of the coaster. You could use gesso, you could use chalk paint, you could use acrylic paint, as long as it is a light color, so a white or a cream, if you're planning to use napkins for decoupage. Once my paint was dry, I took a little bit of 240 grit sandpaper and gave them a light sand in just to get the surface nice and smooth. Next I move on to decoupage, so I take my napkin and I separate the top layer that has the print on it from the bottom two layers. We're only going to be working with the top layer. Then I cut the napkin into four parts so that I can work with each coaster separately. The method of application that I'm using is my water method as I like to call it. Basically I place my napkin face down onto a plastic file folder and I pour loads of water onto it so that the napkin is floating freely. Then I take a small synthetic bristle brush and using a very light touch and a very light hand I smooth the napkin out and get all of the air bubbles out from underneath it. Then I pour the excess water out and dab it down so that there's no water dripping off. Next I flip my file folder over place it on top of the coaster, use a plastic card to get any air bubbles out, and carefully remove the plastic folder. Instead of decoupage glue or Mod Podge or PVA, I used Polyvine's heavy duty wood varnish. It is very watery so it's very easy to use, but you could definitely use Mod Podge or any other decoupage glue that you would like to use. Thank you. 
After the varnish is dry, I take that same piece of sandpaper and clean up the edges. Next, to decorate the edges of the coasters, I used Liberon Special Effect Wax in black. Typically, I would use black or brown acrylic paint and a sponge dabber to decorate the edges, but I just got this Special Effects Wax and I was very excited to try it out, so I decided to give it a go and see if I can decorate the edges nicely with that. To apply it, I just wrapped a little bit of my cloth napkin around my finger and then pick up a little bit of wax with the cloth and gently rub it on onto the edges. Next I went ahead and applied my two-step crackle medium. So first I apply step one and let it dry. Once step one is dry, I go ahead and apply my step two of the crackling kit. As you can see, the bottle says that it's supposed to be large crackling. However, for some reason, my cracks turned out to be really small. I am wondering if it's the fact that I applied a little bit too much or too little of one of the components, or if it's the fact that I used too small of a brush and I smeared it around a little bit too much. So if I figure it out, I'll let you know. But that's the result that I ended up with. And then once component two was dry and my cracks had appeared, I used pearl mica pigment in brown color to show off the cracks. So I just pick up a little bit of this dry pigment with a fluffy brush and swirl it around, kind of getting it into all of the cracks. If you don't have mica powder or metallic pigments or anything like that, you could grind up soft pastels or even use eyeshadow to fill in the gaps in your crackle. After I applied all of the pigment, I just take a cloth and clean up any of the excess that is sitting on top of the coasters. And then seal it with three coats of the same heavy duty wood varnish. And that makes it heat proof and waterproof and completely matte finish. Thank you. 
and lastly I decorate the back of the coasters so I just took my black acrylic gesso and applied two coats of it to the back of the coasters and sealed it with three more coats of the same heavy duty wood varnish once again you could use black acrylic or chalk paint instead I just personally like the coverage of this gesso And there you guys go so this is the final result I really hope that you enjoyed this project I hope that you enjoyed this video I know that I've done coasters on my channel before but every now and then it's just fun to go back to something that you already know plus I'm trying to make up a little bit of stock for when my shop reopens later this month which I'm very excited about and I just wanted to make something nice and simple for you guys so I hope that you enjoyed it as always if you have any questions feel free to leave those in the comments down below if you would like to get in touch with me social media links and everything are going to be in the description below if you would like to have a look at any of the products that i used in this video there's going to be links for all of them in the description below as well i also have some discount codes that you can find there if you would like to purchase anything from some of these brands that i'm using and yeah as always leave a like if you like this video share it with somebody who might find it helpful subscribe for more videos like this and i will see you guys in the next one bye